In today's video, we're going to be talking about the TheraFace or the smart goggles. That's what I call them. Basically, eye massagers. Like, this got to be the most advanced technology I probably have ever, like, had. Outside of, like, a phone, probably the most advanced technology I've had as far as, like, lifestyle type of technology, if that makes sense. Like, it has a vibration mode. It has a heat mode, a smart relax mode. It has a sleep mode. It has low-key everything you need for the moment that you're probably going to put those goggles on. It feels like somebody is pressing against your temples and then releasing it. And I don't know why, but the feeling is very satisfying. Talk about a little bit about the mode. So the smart relax mode uses heat and vibration pattern that matches your heart rate to help you relax. Like, that's crazy, bro. The focus mode uses heat and a single vibration pattern to help you relax and focus. The sleep mode uses slow wave vibration and gentle temple massages to help you fall asleep. See, that's what I was talking about. You can use the buttons on the top left of the goggles to adjust these settings. Now, you could connect it to a Theramine Elf. I didn't do all this. A couple of pros that come with smart goggles, according to Google, it says it's comfortable. The padded leather interior and adjustable strap makes the smart goggles comfortable to wear. I agree. It wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. I feel like it could have been better though. Uh, it says easy to use. The smart goggles have three buttons for power, vibration, heat levels, or easy control. That That is a plus. It only has three buttons on there and it's very easy to use. Portable. The smart goggles are compact enough to pack for a trip. That thing is very heavy duty. Pause. But the battery life for the smart goggles have a battery life that allows for about 10 default massages before needing to be charged. If I read correctly, if you use the smart goggles like 15 minutes, each day that's how you're supposed to use you're supposed to at least put it on for 15 minutes so some of the cons is noisy some say that the small goggles are noisy and can be distracting i kind of agree like it's not something you can sleep with i don't think but i do feel like it's great for getting you ready for sleep perhaps some say it could be smoother to adjust i agree right now you guys are about to see a couple of clips of me playing around with it and just trying to test it out try to see how to maximize the use of these goggles. Put them on right before bed. I took them to the lake. Try to see if like the vibe is better at the lake. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. You guys got my opinions you guys know how i felt about it i always like kind of like going in diving in a little bit more deeper to see what other people think about it other people has this product and a lot of other people got a different thought process on it so at kyle mo 001 i also got one and it seems not really well not really well fit my face do you think it fits to all faces <laughs> I don't really feel proper massage around my eyes. That's why I was saying, like, I think it can definitely be fitted a little bit more better. Like, it's not as comfortable as it could be. It says red 00022. I don't feel anything. The kneading needs pressure. Netting needs pressure. I can feel a bit on the temples. Everywhere else, it feels like fingers barely touching you around the eyes and on the center. There's zero contact. I've tried moving it around, making it tighter. Maybe I have a small head. 
Okay. It says anyone having rattling sound issue when the vibration is turned on? And I didn't hear like any rattling sound. It's definitely pretty like in your ear because it's right there. So it says GG1111. I just used it for the first time, sleep mode, and it triggered a severe headache. I think it may have been from the pressing on my temples. Has this happened to anyone else? So what I'm seeing is that the smart goggles is not really for everybody. That just means if you are a person that's watching this video and you found this video interesting enough to actually want to buy it, you just have to see for yourself. A lot of people don't like the fact that it's uncomfortable. You really just got to get it and see how you feel about it, you know, and see where you go from from there. So that's it. That's all. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I don't know what the fuck I was just about. Video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.